Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali. I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe. So today I have a very special Troll Beats haul to share with all of you. Troll Beats Texas, which is my local store here in Dallas, had a grand event uh, recently and I had so much fun. They had some special beads that were available for purchase. They had a lot of different promos going on, wonderful promos um, all uh, through the store on their current stock. Um, they had um, a glass artisan there in person and she was making glass beads there live, which was so amazing to watch because I've never seen that done before. It was just truly amazing to see her work. And um, I got to meet Nicole from Our Pretty Charmed Life and Linda from LSN2. They flew down to Dallas and they attended the event with me and we had so much fun shopping. Um, we got into a lot of Troll Beats trouble as you will see as this video progresses. So first of all, I wanted to share this beautiful tray. Um, this is made out of bamboo and it's actually pretty light, I think, because it is bamboo and um, it has this section here um, with this uh, rod. You could put your beads in here and, um, you know, uh, design. And then there is this tray which lifts up and then you have three sections in here. So you could put more beads in here, bracelets, and then there's another section down here. So this would be a very fun way to design your troll beads uh, bracelets and bangles and have everything contained in one place so i'm very very thankful to troll beads texas for gifting this to me um it's it's just absolutely beautiful now you can see that i have a bunch of boxes here um, and these are all my purchases from the event, as I said, they had a bunch of um, special beads and then they also had some promos running. And so um, let's get started with this one, the smallest box on here. Now this is a very special bead. This was one of the special beads that were available to purchase and it is this gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly pendant. Now let me take it out of the box and I'll show it to you. So this is the butterfly pendant and it has an amethyst drop here at the bottom of it. It is so beautiful. They had two available when I uh, reached the store. One was this one and the other one was a light pink rose quartz, I believe, which was also very beautiful. But I just fell in love with this deep, rich amethyst and it is a faceted amethyst and it is so, so beautiful. They had um, another one like this in their regular collection. I think it was called a summer butterfly, if I'm not mistaken, um, but it had a glass drop here um, instead of a stone, uh, I think with some blue flowers in it. And that one is also very pretty and I was, um, you know, thinking about getting it maybe. Um, and I'm glad I didn't because I found this at the grand event and this is so, so pretty. It is the same on both sides. So you have the butterfly in silver and then um, the amethyst that it's sitting on. So stunning, I'm so happy with this one. Now let's see what's in this box. Um, as you can see, there are a bunch of different beads in here. Let me take them out of the box and we'll see them one by one. This one was also a special bead that was available at the grand event. This is a unique and this is a ladybird dillo unique which i love the armadillo beads that troll beads does and i love ladybugs and so when i saw that there was a bead that combined ladybirds and um armadillos i was so excited and i love the colors the base is this opaque light blue um, and then on top of that you have these beautiful pink ladybugs with um, you know black face and the dots and these beautiful buggy eyes so so cute i just fell in love with this bead and i just had to have this one so this is 
the um, Ladybird Dillo Unique. Another unique that I picked up is this faceted one. And this one has a cream base and it has these different colored blue swirls. There's even some um, green in there and some browns and um, these waves are outlined in black. And this was so different. I've never seen a unique quite like this and it's just, it just spoke to but me. It just looked so beautiful in the tray and so this is what I went with. Now they did have very limited stock of um, the event beads that they had available like the uniques and the faceted uniques and so they had uh, limited everybody to one in each category and so yeah I could only pick up um, one faceted unique this time and only one um, armadillo unique um, this time because last year when they had um, their um event they had a lot more stock and so they had no um limits on how many uniques you could get but this time unfortunately i think troll beads as everybody else uh is having some production issues and so they had limited stock available but i'm very very thankful for the things that i was able to get this is a mini barrel now these are also some special beads that troll beads does they have a different shape um, they have more of a barrel shape and um, they come in a variety of designs and this is the one I picked up. It has a very uh, light pink base. It is opaque as you can see and um, it has these in the middle. There's these blue dots with white centers and then the sides have these, um, these uh, I don't know what you would call these. Um, arches almost in um, green and um, orange with some glitter and then you look at the side and you see this dotted detail into each petal that kind of it makes like a flower it looks so beautiful and uh, pink is my favorite color and I think it will look so beautiful with my ladybug armadillo the colors I think go really well together so I think they will look so pretty on a design together so that was another reason that I went with this um, this little mini barrel the next two beads I picked up are these troll agates and these were released for Troll Beads Day 2022. I already own three of them and I just could not resist picking up a couple more. Um, as you can see, this one right here has a greenish tinge to it. It is so, so beautiful. So it has some light green to olive green tinge to it. It also has a little bit of purple here on this side. And then again, tons of the glitter. And then this one is more of a light pink again. Um, it does have shades of beige that kind of creep in a little bit, um, as you can see over here. And again, that glitter. And the sides have this gray green um, solid base with some speckles. Um, it's really pretty. Look at the side on this one. beautiful i am so in love with the troll agates and they look so different in different lightings um and see the sun just went down and you can see the green more in this bead over here these are just so beautiful i i know these are limited edition and as far as we know troll beads is not going to do another production run on these but i would love if they would do it because i would definitely buy more there's just so much variation in them so many beautiful colors no two are alike and i just i just love them so these are the troll agates that i picked up the next bead i picked up is this this is called brushes of shimmer and i I think this was released sometime last year uh, maybe the fall collection I don't remember exactly but it has a white base and on top of that you have these swirls of brown almost dark purple I want to say and this glitter running through it and then it is a faceted bead and then uh, there's glass bubbles on the bead that almost look like CZ's 
it is so so beautiful and in different lighting it looks more more a light purple or dark purple it is stunning i love this bead and that's the side it looks mostly clear you can see the bubbles um on top of the bead and then you can see all the colors at the base and then from the front this is what it looks like it is so so beautiful another glass bead i picked up is this beautiful green gold stone and my camera is just not capturing the beauty of this bead it has so much sparkle in it like the other gold stones and this is a very deep green color like bottle green and it's so much sparkle on this one it is so pretty. I recently picked up the faceted goldstone, which is the brown coppery shimmer bead, and then also the blue goldstone. And this one was um, another one. I think this was uh, winter of last year when this was released. And so, yeah, this is the green goldstone. And I picked up these four beads. They had a buy three, get one free promo for the event. And so I got the two troll agates, the brushes of shimmer and the green troll stone um, with that deal. I was also lucky enough to be able to get a troll stone. Now, these are also very um, unique, very rare. They're only available at events and... Um, you know my store got a very very limited quantity of them and so since i was there right when the store opened i was able to get one and this is so beautiful this the one i picked has a lot of these earthy colors with the greens and the browns and then it does have some yellows a little bit of orange and pink and then you also see hints of purple in here um, so yeah, this one reminded me a lot of um, fall and autumn and all those colors. So I just um, could not resist getting this one with all these earthy colors. It is so, so stunning. I was able to get one last year too at last year's event. And again, this was limited to one per person. And then you did have to spend at least $200 minimum before you were able to get a Trollstone. And so, yeah, this is the Trollstone that I picked up. And I'm so, so happy with this. Now let's look at what's in this box. Um, you can see there's a bunch of glass beads in here as well. So let me take them out of the box. This is another special unique I was able to pick up. Um, again, this was exclusive to the grand event. And this is a snail unique. Um, the base on this is this beautiful green color. And then on top of the bead, you have these um, orangey red snails. Um, they do, um, they are on top of the bead. So you see when you look at it sideways, you can see how um, they give the bead like a bumpy look. And um, yeah, they're so cute. I love, I love the snails. They have a little smiley face, each of them, which is just such a cute, cute detail. Um, <laughs> they look like happy snails. And so, yeah, that's, that was another unique I was able to pick up. This, I have seen this in a lot of photos uh, from other collectors, or not specifically this color, but uh, this one comes in a lot of different colors. This is a caterpillar bead. I guess it would be called a unique. Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors, and I think because of the look of the bead, like how it has these circles and then the bumps on it it's just called a caterpillar bead and um again they had a few of these available at the event and i was in two minds in the beginning and the more i looked at it the more i liked it plus it was in the color pink which as you guys know is my favorite color and so I had to get one. I wish they had more colors because that would be so cool to see. Although again, this was limited to one per person. And so if they had more colors, I don't think I would be able to get more than one. Um, just because they wanted uh, everybody to have a chance to get uh, the special beads. And so 
This is the caterpillar bead. This one is called the red pod and it is a retired bead. Um, and um, I have, uh, this is part of, I'm forgetting the name of the kit. I'll put it um, down here for you guys. But I recently bought um, two more beads from this kit, the orange pod and the green pod. And I have the other three uh, beads that make up this kit. And so with this one, I have now officially completed that kit. And so this is so pretty. It has a red base. And then on top of that, you have these black polka dots. And then on top of the bead, you have these green leaves. So again, when you look at it sideways, you can see that it's bumpy because of the leaves. And look how beautifully this bead goes with my snail. Look how beautiful they look together with the greens and the reds. Um, I think they'll look beautiful on a design together. And so yeah, this is the red pod. As always, Troll Beads Texas has this promo that if you spend a certain amount of money, you're able to pick up um, a free unique. And so I was able to get five of them and these are the ones that I picked out. So this one, has this very off-white base with kind of a watery effect, I feel. Um, and then you have these vines almost with these blue flowers on top. Um, each flower, the middle is a bubble. And so it looks almost like a CZ. It's very, very cute, very pretty, um, very summery, but um, I just really loved it. The next one, while this was summery, I feel this one is very fall. It has this um, yellowish base. And uh, then on top of that, you have these darker mustardy leaves with uh, some white details and some glitter. And then the leaves are outlined in this light blue. So this is very, very pretty. This is another yellow bead. The base is yellow. And then on top of that, you have these three petal swirly flowers. Um, again, uh, the petals are orangish in color with a blue outline and the middle of the glass bead is a white dot. So again, very um, fall. This one almost looks like flying butterflies to me. This one has a white base and on top of the bead you have these, either you could call them two petal flowers um, or as I said, it looks like, you know, a side profile of either dragonflies or butterflies to me. The petals or the wings are light blue with some gray detailing and they are outlined in burgundy. And so that's the one. And then the last unique I picked up is very similar in coloration to this one. Um, it has a white creamy base and then it has these four petal flowers. Now each flower has two petals that it uh, shares with the next flower. So it's like a continuous flower. So the petals themselves are light green, almost gray in color with some glitter on them. They are outlined in burgundy again and the center uh, of each flower is a white dot. So these are the uniques that I picked up. And the last thing I bought is in this box. Um, as you can probably tell by the shape of the box, this is a ring. Now this is a retired ring. Um, this has been on my wish list for a while. You can see it is size 59 and this is the bow ring. Um, I did size up on this because Karen, who is PR girl, she recently bought this ring and she fe uh, she said she felt that this runs slightly smaller. And so um, I did size up just a tiny bit and I think it fits perfectly. And so let me show it to you on my finger. So this is what it looks like. I think it looks beautiful. I love how it covers the whole finger. So it looks like, you know, it's wrapped around your finger, the bow. It is so beautiful. It is a double bow. You can see you have the, this bow here and then you have these bits of another bow beneath it. 
So I think it is really, really pretty. I love the band on it as well with that line going through in the middle and that's oxidized. Gives it just a little more detail. So that's the bow ring that I picked up. So that was everything I purchased from the grand event. Now I want to share a very special bead and that is over here. Um, it is, as you can see, in a small baggie. You can see it does not have a core. And so let me take it out of the baggie and then I'll show it to you. Um, so as I said, they had a glass artist in there. Her name was Morgan and she was making beads live and I was able to get one of the beads. This is so beautiful. I love it. It looks almost like an armadillo bead. Um, you can see uh, the base is this greenish color. And then you have the orange that made the armadillo, um, you know, those U's. And um, at the base, you see this turquoise blue and then there's orange. It is so stunning, this bead. It is absolutely beautiful. As I said, she was making it right there, so it does not have a silver core. And um, so they did give us instructions on how to take care of this bead, and I'll share those with you. So it does say that uh, the artisan, uh, her name, as I said, it was Morgan, and they did say uh, to coat um, the core of this bead with clear nail polish. And that's because she told us that the glass, when it's in this state, it is so hard and um, it is so strong that if you do not do that, it will damage your silver bracelet or bangle because it will, um, you know, er erode um, when it rubs on the bangle or the bracelet, it will erode the silver. And so that's why you uh, keep putting clear nail polish at the core just to protect your bracelet or your bangle and so that was so cool and I'm this is like literally a piece of art that I own now and I'm so so happy about that so yeah I know this was kind of a longer video for me but I was so excited to share everything that I bought at the grad grand event with all of you um, I hope you guys liked this video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one stay safe guys bye